Hey guys, how's it going? Toby and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and a brand new series. This is the start of a pretty lengthy series. Hopefully it's going to be my Cardiff City career mode on FIFA 14. And I'm really looking forward to this because I haven't done career mode in so, so long. I started an Ipswich Town one on FIFA 13 and it went down really well and I have no idea why I stopped that. But I thought a BPL team would be pretty exciting, especially one that is recently promoted so I'm gonna see how I can do and hopefully you guys really do enjoy it so if you do please hit the like button it really motivates me and then I know you guys actually do enjoy this sort of thing and I can keep bringing videos to you guys because it really does mean a lot when I have your support and I want to make sure you guys are commenting down below of who I should buy who I should sell and things that I should be doing in career mode because to be honest you guys are going to be much much better at career mode than I am at the start because it's been so so long we're gonna play on world-class difficulty as well and hopefully we can do okay it's gonna be a struggle but our league objective is to literally avoid relegation I found that quite interesting because I'm hoping we can do a little bit better than that I'm hoping for a mid-table finish at least that's my personal league objective if you want me to push higher let me know down in the comment section below but something that's really awesome is the new global transfer network now people that haven't played it this is gonna be pretty cool for you guys because it's so so interesting and I really like the idea of it basically what you do is you have a network of scouts and then you have these instructions to tell them to go and find these players in these locations you pick the location as well I'll show you that in the next screen but I'm looking for a center back and a defensive mid because I think they're the areas that I really do need to strengthen up a little bit We've got Stephen Corker as centre-back, but I think we do need another one, and perhaps two for a backup. We're going to send our first scout to England and just keep him here because he's got good experience, good judgement, and I'm kind of going by football manager laws and knowledge because if they're from that country, they should have good knowledge about that country, but I send our second scout to Belgium and then our third scout over to Netherlands simply because those two countries have some really awesome youth players Netherlands especially and there's some really solid players from the Belgian league that I just want to try out and hopefully they shouldn't be too expensive and hopefully they'd come over to the BPL and it should be really interesting and one thing that I'm not too happy about is Gary Medell is injured and he is probably without a doubt one of our strongest players but it should be okay it's only a minor injury I believe and I'm really hoping that he will be match fit for our first proper game. I'll have to see, I don't want to play him too early and get him even more injured because we need him in this team. I'm going to put Cornelius as our starting striker. I like his, his strength, his height, and I think Fraser Campbell would work really well as perhaps a super sub. So we're going to see how it goes in our first game. Let me know if you want me to sim the preseason or actually play the friendlies. I think our first friendly is actually against Real Madrid, which... It's going to be ridiculous, so if you want me to sim it, I'm more than happy to. I'm changing up the tactics. You can make custom tactics, you've always been able to do it, and I like having a slightly deeper line and being slightly more aggressive. I know that makes little sense, but playing from a deeper line and then being a little bit more aggressive towards the attackers tends to work well in previous career modes. I may change that because it may be completely different this year. And what we're doing here is literally sending our scout to gain some further information. Now, one thing about FIFA 14 career mode is you can't see their stats until you send your scout to look for more information about our player. So that's what I'm doing here. He's brought me a list of potential center backs and I'm looking at their height, their strength. You get this preliminary report that tells you sort of their really standout stats. So aggression, strength, sprint speed, heading accuracy, things like that. And by judging those and looking at their height and their age, I'm sending my scout to get some more information and hopefully bring some awesome stats back. And hopefully then we can start looking at some players. If you see any players that I miss that perhaps look absolutely awesome, please let me know down in the comment section below. I'm never too far ahead. I've only recorded this amount of footage because I want to make sure I get as much feedback from you guys as I possibly can so you guys can really help and shape this series because I'm hoping it's going to be a long one. I'm hoping I'm really going to enjoy career mode this year, but I do need your support. We're looking at some more centre-backs. We have been given some more. I was tempted by Luke Chambers being an Ipswich Town supporter, but he's getting a little bit older, and I don't think he'd be willing to play as much. I don't think he's going to grow much as a centre-back because he is 27 years old, 
But we look at this centre defensive mid, he looks amazing. I know he's 28, but he's 6 for 2. He looks like a tank. And this guy, 20, again, 6 for 2. There's so many good centre defensive mids. Osborne here for Blackpool looks like a pretty decent prospect. We'll have to see how his scout report comes back. I'm pretty sure you can't send out too many, and we get a transfer offer for one of our reserve strikers. Should we sell him, try and get a little bit of money so we've got some more cash to play around with? Or should we keep him? He's 24, 63 rated. I don't think he's going to grow that much, but let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already subscribed. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Have an amazing day, and goodbye.